Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video where I'm going to be doing a travel style vlog. I guess this does count as a travel style vlog because I'm going to be showing you what's inside my backpack. So if you didn't know already, I will be traveling traveling to Bournemouth and that's two hours away from London. It's in the south of England. And by the time I upload this, I already would have finished my um my trip to Bournemouth so this is going to be uploaded like a few weeks later after my trip um so for reference I'll be traveling from the 3rd of August and coming back on Friday the 6th I believe so yeah that's it's just a short three day trip and I'm looking forward to it and yeah I'm going to have a blast I'm going with my best mate and her daughter um, and Bournemouth, if you don't know where Bournemouth is, as I said, south of England, um, it's next to Portsmouth, I believe, and um, it's known for its beaches. It's a famous place that is known for its lovely, lovely beaches. And just in general, there are like loads of tourist attractions that are near our hotel. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to tomorrow. So tomorrow will I'm filming this a day before I go. So yeah, it's Monday the second of August. Um so I got this backpack and I absolutely love it. So I wanted to upgrade my backpack because my previous backpack, which you can actually see a little bit in the background here, is just ugly. I, I was like using it so much that the colour started to go. Um, so I had to upgrade my backpack. So yeah, I'm just going to show you like what's inside it, what I'm packing in my backpack. So it's a short trip. Obviously, I'm not just going to pack this. Like my actual clothes are in my cabin sized luggage. Uh, I won't show my cabin sized luggage, but I'll just show like the exterior in a picture over here um, of what it looks like um, it's just a suitcase that I got from New Look oh my god I had such a hard time yesterday trying to pack like trying to make sure everything fits because I was like over packing like I wanted to get as much as I could even though it's a three-day trip um, and the thing is I'm not someone who travels a lot it took some thinking and and the last thing that I want is to forget something so I like made a list on my phone to make sure I don't forget anything like important documents like my passport which the hotel is going to ask me for well they're going to ask me for my ID so um I'm going to bring you I'm going to bring my passport and um my phone and my phone charger Obviously, you need to remember the essentials like toothbrush, toothpaste, etc. So yeah, let's get on to it. So I don't really know where to start. I guess I start... Yeah, I'll just start at the front actually. So there's nothing much going on at the front. Um, so the good thing about this bag, the reason why I was so appealed by this backpack is the fact that it has so many smaller compartments. So many compartments are in this backpack. To be honest, I haven't utilised all of them, but I really like that feature about this backpack. But the main thing that won me over was not just because of how beautiful this looks. Like, this is gorgeous for a backpack. Like, it's, I, I just really love, like, the floral exterior design. But also because it has... I uh, forget about my money wallet. I'll just explain that in a bit. But there is a side pocket. Where is the side pocket? It's over here. So there is a side pocket where you can put essentials so um i was supposed to show the front first but i'll just show you the back since i talked about it so this is actually something that i got from primark um it's a passport cover so basically i wanted to get a backpack that has an anti-theft pocket at the back um it's for convenience so whenever so basically i'm someone who uses a backpack all the time because my job uh, my job outside of youtube where i teach children so i teach children english um, and sometimes maths too um, so when i do tutor i do need a backpack that has a lot of space in it 
so both sides and also convenience at the back because I don't want to constantly get my backpack out just to get money out so usually I was actually planning to use this side pocket here as a way to get my money out like my, my wallet out and my phone out but the thing is even though it's spacious enough it is spacious enough it is awkward like whenever i'm walking i found it to be quite awkward like in my previous backpack the actual side pocket i mean the actual back pocket it was across so that like, i could easily like get things out but because it's a side pocket like this then <laughs> it was so it took a while to like get things out and then put things back in especially with like my wallet being bulky um sorry for talking so much but this is going to be a long video so yeah this is my passport it fits nicely in there and obviously the reason why i got a cover is so that it's discreet um yeah i don't the last thing that i want is like prized possessions being stolen on my trip so yeah so and i'll also fit my phone in so i've got the samsung a71 um and yeah i need to pack my mobile phone charger as well and i'll do that tomorrow since i'm going tomorrow um so yeah so that's the back pocket now you're probably wondering like why the hell do i have a money wallet as i was saying before like it was so awkward trying to get money out and then i saw yesterday on super truck that they were selling like a money wallet and i was money belt and money belt i mean um and obviously it's going to look so awkward to put that around my belt so i was trying to think of an innovative way of um attaching my money belt to the backpack so i was like okay so i can just basically i wonder if i can show it so it's like a strap that you put around your waist actually but I thought to myself, I'm not going to put this around my waist. It's not like it looks very fashionable or anything, but it does get the job done. Like it's got two, um, it's got two compartments. So it's got a compartment here. The thing is, I have so much change, and that's why I didn't want to carry my wallet. It was just getting so bulky. Um, so if you're curious about what UK money looks like, you're from outside the UK, so there's a £20 note. And this is a £10 note. I'm trying to see, is this Jane Austen? Yeah, this is Jane Austen. One of my favourite authors. And... Who's this? You know, I haven't really paid too much attention on like the actual people that that they put in the notes. Um, I, I knew about Jane Austen, but this one I can't. Okay, if anyone from the UK knows who is this, please. I don't. I don't know who that is. Obviously, the Queen's face is going to be in it, but there's also someone else. Um, yeah i'm not gonna carry too much cash um because obviously my backpack is already so damn heavy and then in the next one is just a bunch of change so like 50p coin hmm. i've got like a whole bunch of like one pound coins <laughs> okay so yeah so that's that um it's just so that i don't have to like get the backpack out of my arms i can just reach for it at the back i hope that makes sense all right so yeah that's that for the back and all and of course like, i can actually attach this to my luggage so I'm trying to show it right so there's the strap here to like attach it to my luggage so that i don't have to like necessarily um carry on my back um or even like, hold it because this has two handles here so i could actually just carry it if i find it too heavy on my back or something to be honest this is actually a really comfortable backpack because <laughs> this is turning into a backpack review but uh just bear with me okay so yeah it's just it's actually comfortable like even though yesterday i carried so many things in this because i was 
so busy at work yesterday um but i never felt my back actually aching it was just bulky like it's so heavy and bulky but i didn't get any like back ache which quite surprised me considering that there's no like padding at the back but yeah it's actually comfortable um okay so i actually wanted to get my reusable water bottle um but here's a water bottle it's, it's smart water um i wanted to get it but it's just it's so big so i needed something smaller so yeah that's why i'm using a plastic water bottle but this is recycled plastic just to clarify and then in here is some plastic utensils so these are utensils that i can use um in case we like need it for like whenever we get takeaway or something um if we're eating something and eating something at the hotel um so yeah that's that um so it's a spoon knife and a fork and and there's my umbrella which is in the other compartment here and that's it in that one and then i have this really cute luggage tag like i got a two-pack lug luggage tag um so it's technically technically supposed to be for the actual luggage but because it looks so cute i just attached it to this and also i'm carrying this just because just in case my best mate needs a luggage tag for her luggage because i'm not entirely sure she has a luggage tag and it's very important that we have luggage tags for our for our main luggage so i'm just carrying this just in case it does look pretty cool um to attach it anyway okay so now for the front part so i'm just gonna open this there's nothing much in it it's just a pen in case i want to write anything like write notes and stuff and technically this is a makeup uh remover cloth but i'm going to use this as a face towel so yeah i can get rid of the excess makeup in case there's still makeup on my face even after like wiping my face with a makeup wipe so yeah it's really handy that i've got this so yeah i can just use it as a face cloth and it should be fine um it's compact it's really compact so very small so that's that and there's nothing in here I think. So, okay so there's a compartment in here so this is how it looks on the inside sorry for the weird camera angle i was trying to like figure out how the camera angle should be so this is the front part and it has like smaller compartments and then there's this part here where it's carrying two tissues so i really need my tissues because i suffer from um chronic rhinitis chronic rhinitis is basically it's not no jutsu it's not no jutsu at a constant basis so basically i blow my nose like every 10 to 15 minutes so yeah i mean it's, it's not like a constant thing but like yeah i'm like udon in naruto <laughs> okay right so that's for that one i think um yeah there's nothing else in here and i just included this just this is basically a goldsmith class of 2019 badge pin badge that i got from my graduation a few years ago so yeah i graduated from goldsmiths university and we got those as freebies and a few other things as well i think um yeah so all right now i really like how i can use this as a handle too that's really cool um so i'm just going to get into the main compartment now now another really cool thing about this bag is that it opens up like really wide so i need to be careful about the zippers like the thing that i'm really anxious about is that the main zipper is just going to break because of the side parts needing to be closed so that 
the zipper doesn't break so if I was to like widen it up like this <laughs> my fear is that the zipper is going to break and I hope to god that nothing bad happens to the backpack because I've packed it to the brim so yeah so I won't be able to sh show you from like bird's eye view but this is how it opens up like this and then in here so I've bought like a bunch of different pouches to separate things into like categories like this like a makeup pouch a skincare pouch etc so for my personal hygiene pouch i put it in like a pencil case um because i just thought it was like the perfect size so i put my seaweed facial wash which is from i don't know if it's gonna focus Okay, there we go. So this is seaweed face wash, which is from the body shop. And this really helps with my acne. It really got it under control. So I definitely need to continue using this. Um, and then I will pack my toothbrush. So I've got like a, I've just started using like a sensitive base toothbrush because my gums have become a bit sensitive to like the hard bristles. And I just absolutely love this toothbrush. It's from Superdrug, it's one of the sensitive ones. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be packing this tomorrow because obviously I still need to use my toothbrush to brush my teeth. Um, so that's that and then obviously a travel size toothpaste. So I got this as a sample when it was like a travel set sample of like miniature versions of no number sevens Hydra Luminous skincare range um, and I got this after I bought their Stay Perfect foundation because I needed a new foundation from number seven so this is their oil free so it's gonna... come on focus focus okay now it's focusing sorry it's just my lighting is just crap so this is the Hydra Luminous water surge gel oil free one and I've tried it out and it's pretty good because it's not breaking me out and, I'll, and the thing is I don't uh, beforehand I didn't even like use moisturizer on my face because the seaweed face wash was already quite moisturizing for my face I've got combination skin so yeah so I'm just gonna pack that as a way to um moisturize my face but without it being too oily yeah so i will pack the toothbrush in there tomorrow so that's that pouch and then i have my medicine pouch and this is filled with like different things because as i said i suffer from chronic rhinitis um so hence the tissues but i also have a bunch of like different allergies like i'm allergic to dust and I want to be prepared for anything. So um, I'm also iron deficient. I've got anemia. Um, so I need to take with me my iron tablets. So just it's for it's only for three days. So this is these are my iron tablets. And I also got tranexamic acid tablets, and this is for to control my period. Um, sorry, <laughs> I don't mean to get into detail, but yeah. Um, and then this is just because I, sometimes I have this really annoying watery tear duct. So I've got like a watery left eye tear duct, and so if I use this, that tear duct stops watering um yeah i just hate it when it happens don't know why i have a watery left eye and, it, and that is only the left eye that's watery but anyway um so this is just in case like my allergies um this is just in case my allergies get triggered like i think i have like a mild case of hay fever so these are just hay fever and allergy allergy relief tablets and then um also got paracetamol in case any of us get hay fever um i got spares of diarrhea really it's just in case any of us get food poisoning or have some sort of stomach issue going on so that's that and another 
stomach relief thing is peppermint and licorice herbal tea i love this stuff it's really good for the stomach and for the throat and i've got like a bunch of like plasters as well so yeah just in case any accidents happen because my friend she's going to be taking her daughter and like we might go to a playground and she might scrape a knee or something so yeah <laughs> best to be prepared um last thing that white is like something bad to happen on a trip um right that's that um so of course you guys know about my headphones so yes i'll be obviously carrying my headphones so that i can listen to music or watch youtube videos when i am there um so good thing about my headphones is that it can um retract is that the right word to use so that it can fold into place so that it's a bit more compact and travel friendly so yeah those are my headphones that you see in every reaction um, and I still need these, so I'm just going to put it here. So this pouch here, which is another Harry Potter themed item, I basically bought a pair of flip-flops. The flip-flops are in my cabin size luggage, as well as getting like a makeup pouch. I guess it's a makeup pouch or just any like storage bag. And also, as you guys saw before, the passport cover. Um, this one is a bit bulky. Um, I thought I needed... Uh, something like this size but it turns out that I don't need such a big one for my makeup so this is my makeup pouch that I'm using and I bought a new one of the Stay Perfect Foundation absolutely love this stuff I've been using this for like a year and a half or maybe more than that I don't know okay now it's focusing so this is a really good foundation for i would say medium slash buildable coverage it's not very heavy it's not it's not a full coverage foundation at all it's actually really lightweight and it's quite moisturizing as a foundation um i absolutely love this stuff it's it's, it actually lasts throughout the whole day, like at least for a very long time. At least to me, it does last a lot. And it's got SPF 15. And so it's really good because we're going to be out in the sun. Well, I feel like it's going to rain when we're there. But we I do need at least some sunscreen on my face. Um, and it's also got vitamin E to protect and care for the skin. So yeah this is a really nice one that's quite lightweight i highly recommend stay perfect foundation from number seven so i just bought this recently because everyone talks about it this is the instant anti-age eraser and this is basically an under eye concealer i don't know if that even focused that even focused okay so the instant anti-age eraser which is it says it's a multi-use concealer okay and i got it in the shade caramel um so this i just i use it mainly for my under eyes um to i feel like i should have got a shade lighter but the thing is the shade range is not very good but i mean it does the job it definitely does the job i don't know if it's if it's going to last throughout the whole day because i only just recently used it um and I do have the Cinema Secrets um, foundation palette, which I use like a concealer, which I use as a concealer. So I might actually switch this with the concealer palette just because I feel like the Cinema Secrets one is a bit more full coverage. But I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I've been trying to get this in focus. So apologies. This is the first shade is the actual shade is called first um and this is like a really nice like burgundy or deep red kind of shade and there's the makeup revolution lipstick um yeah it doesn't look that amazing um because i've used it and yeah so that's the makeup revolution lipstick that i love using i just absolutely love this shade and it's like a satin matte finish so it's not too drying although uh, it would have been nice if it was just a bit creamier so that it, it 
it feels a bit more moisturizing on the lips but i still recommend it. it is a pigmented lipstick and then to go along with that like I, I just bought like a whole bunch of like lip liners like a whole pack of lip liners like a long time ago and there's just one of those shades um this is like a deep red shade and the thing is the reason why i'm using deep red um when i go is because i have pigmented lips and the last thing that i want is my pigmented lips to be shown like later later during the day so i need something that's dark that will conceal the darkness of my lips because I don't have the nicest natural lips which is why I wear lipstick like a ton of lipstick in my uh, reactions and if just for a bit of like volume it I feel like some people are going to judge that I'm using so much drugstore based makeup but I don't care it does a job for me so there's the bourgeois 3d effect lip gloss I don't know if it's going to focus please do there we go um so there's the bourgeois 3d effect lip gloss and it's just to like make the lips look a bit glossier more plump and a bit more moisturizing and apparently it lasts eight hours which i don't think it does for exact eight hours but yeah there we go and i just bought the full slash effect mascara from max factor and it's waterproof so if it rains then i don't have to worry about my mascara i i actually don't use mascara but because i know my best mate is going to be taking lots of pictures i need something that will at least add a bit of something to my eyes so yeah just so that i don't look so plain i guess is the right word um i was actually thinking about adding a blusher to the set but the thing is my backpack is so filled it's so full that i don't it's such a shame because i, I really wanted to experiment more with makeup like actually adding my gwen stefani eyeshadow palette but i can't add that to the to the pouch because it's just so heavy that palette and it's not compact at all um and it's just a makeup sharpener <laughs> and it's funny that this is from marvel a marvel makeup sharpener who would have thought um so yeah that's my makeup actually i plan on adding this and uh, this is just a purple version purple version of the lip liner that i showed before so because i'm going to be wearing like a purple dress on one of the days um so yeah i'm just gonna add that okay last few things now so this is my purple container of snacks so i absolutely love having a cup of tea um <laughs> i'm british where do you expect so i filled this with a bunch of biscuits slash snacks obviously i can't pack anything that's cold because there's no like fridge uh, there's no uh, refrigerator and i can't pack anything hot because there's no microwave so oh some of them have just broken never mind it's all right so i've packed this with my favorite biscuits or one of my favorite biscuits these are the bourbon biscuits um i'll show you a close-up so these are basically chocolate biscuits that you can dip in your tea and my mum she actually got like a multi-pack of biscuits so i've added like a shorties biscuits and this has like three biscuits inside that little packet so this looks excessive i know for a three day trip but i have like a few biscuits per tea time <laughs> um yeah and then I have more biscuits so th in this one i have the it's like the chocolate version of the custard cream biscuits so the custard cream biscuits are like one of the nation's favorite biscuits um i haven't actually tried the chocolate version so i'm excited to try out the chocolate version if i do try out okay so yeah a bit excessive to pack that many and i actually want to pack some chocolates because i absolutely love chocolate if you couldn't figure it out i absolutely love chocolate and these are just like mint chocolates 
so um actually let's see does it yeah i can actually add a few i'm just adding it now i love my chocolate i need to have at least like one chocolate bar per day i know that sounds so unhealthy and sometimes i do restrain myself because obviously i don't want too much of a good thing um but yeah i, I do like my mint flavor chocolates and mint flavored things in general um if you're a mint lover let me know so this is the sistema um container and i bought this so that i can have lunch during work if i if i am doing like a full day work full day's worth of work the cool thing about this is that there's two tiers to this and i just flip this one around like that and then i secure it in place how cool is that so yes yeah, a two tier container and this one it has like two different compartments so that you can separate your food items so yeah really cool container um so last few things is that i am going to be packing my hairbrush obviously um to brush my hair um and then what else is in here let's see what else is in here so there's a pocket here there's a pocket here here zipper pocket and then inside this is a few other things so um, in case of emergencies i've just had my period of course i don't like to talk about stuff like that majority of my subscribers are men but i do need to be honest so this is just in case me or my friend need a pad yeah okay um <laughs> and then i have asthma so i need to always always have to pack this so this is my blue inhaler in case I wheeze, I do wheeze quite a bit, so I do need to pack that. Definitely, I can't go without this. Um, and I've got eczema as well, so I always need to pack this as well. So there's the Dipro Base ointment. Is that even focusing? I don't know. So this is extremely moisturizing. So unlike the cream version, this is even more like an oil. It's like an oil and it's so moisturizing it healed my hand eczema so i've been suffering from hand eczema for as long as i can remember and this stuff really helps with the with the dryness as well as soothing the eczema and i've just remembered that i need to pack my humivate as well so i'm just going to get that now I can't believe I forgot this. So this is the Umavate ointment. I was like thinking, oh man, I'm so going to forget something. So this is actually really important. So like, this is for flare-ups. This is basically like a a more powerful version of hydrocortisone. So I suffer from eczema. And whenever I get like a rash, I just won't, like I scratch a lot if that happens and i need to be able to control that that itching so i need something to control that because that dipper base ointment is only mainly just a moisturizer more than anything it's just a moisturizer but this will actually control the itching so yeah <laughs> need to remember all my medicines okay so last few things so this is a makeup wipe thing um so cleansing facial wipes and there's like a travel size version because I can't just pack a full size version and it does remove waterproof mascara which is very important so that's that and and my friend bought a really cool like trinkets type of box for me for my birthday last year and this is just holding all the little bits and pieces that I need all the little items so this is what it looks like it's got all my rings oh just hope it does, nothing falls out so this is what it looks like can you see my lovely rings so this has a few cotton bars for my ears um and then it's got like um pins so this is for like safety pins for my hijab and if my friend needs like like some pins for her hijab then she can always ask me so yeah safety pins um 
also I've got some hair bands here I've got two of those to tie my hair back um, and then I've got I've got two bobby pins here if that's even showing to just do like pull the hair back um, because I have like these annoying baby hairs that like stick out sometimes so yeah and then I've got the key to the key lock of my luggage here so this is just so that I can open my luggage because it's going to be locked and then I've, oh I've actually got three bobby pins all right so yeah you already saw the cotton buds here um and then for my rings like this is just to like wear based on what outfit that I'm wearing so like on the day I'm actually going to be wearing the top three I guess um I'm not sure which ones I'll actually wear I'm still debating but the ones at the bottom if I can freaking show so the ones at the bottom here the silver ones at the bottom they are for to coordinate with my purple dress which is more like silver based um and then the ones at the top are more gold based and obviously because of my skin tone i suit better with gold based jewelry um but um i do have a few silver rings and I just I completely forgot about these rings. I had no idea I had so many rings because they were just like stored away somewhere and I just completely forgot about them until recently. Um, so that's that. Okay, now that I think about it, I'm going to put my digital camera charger and probably my, my mobile phone charger in my main luggage just to like create a bit more space. Um, and then finally I have my digital camera case with the actual digital camera so I've got this is pretty old um, let me just detach it because so I kind of attached it to the strap here sorry I just had to detach the camera um, wrist wrap wrist strap from the actual um, shoulder strap so this is my camera this is the sony what's it the sony wx500 so this is the dsc wx500 sony camera that i got a few years ago um and it's a good camera so like it actually zooms in and out so i can zoom into like close up to close up on like things from a distance so i really like this camera for vlogging i actually used to use this camera for my reactions but then i switched to using a webcam and i think the reason for that was because of uh, obs because it was more convenient to use a webcam if i'm doing reactions because with this i can't actually use that with obs so yeah this is just like my travel camera i will like take photos on my phone as well but this is for like videos and photos too i guess um so yes and i had to get a strap so that it's actually like on me like i don't have to like because i don't i don't actually like the wrist wrap here so like it's just it feels more comfortable if i just have it around my neck so yeah that's that and for convenience as well because i don't want to like constantly get it out from my bag um anything else so now i have to like pack again because i showed you guys like everything um so yeah i'm sorry that this was such a long video but then again i'm probably going to cut it yeah this is just to like show you something different for once because like, I i'm trying to like, think of ways to like make something different instead of like constantly doing reactions or gameplays so yeah i hope this didn't bore you um i don't know do you, do you like these kind of videos i will post um the travel vlog of what we do in bournemouth like what we see and what we do there um so do look forward to that and stay tuned for more